So hey there. Um, I'm gonna shoot a quick video. I just got a story to tell everybody. So you see with the chairs down there, uh, we were gonna sit in the creek. And uh, so I put the chairs down there like 10 minutes prior to this story starting. Uh, knowing we were going to go down there. And then finally, I got done with what I was doing. And I told Dale, I said, I'm going to head to the creek. I'll meet you down there. And she's like, okay. So I come down with the beer in my hand. Come down. And I'm literally getting ready to step down on these rocks that I put down there. To help step off into the creek when I see movement right here I hope I'm in the right spot because uh, I can't see my screen at all with the Sun but uh, right where the water is calm not not flowing hard I see movement and uh, I look close and there's a freaking copperhead under the water like just sitting there, it's heads under the water, everything. So it must have seen me and it just like went still and that's the movement I caught. Um, so I start yelling for my wife uh, to bring the gun. She finally hears me and brings it over. And like a moron, I did not refill the clip before I left. Um, I actually have several clips, I, I, I didn't, uh, anyway. I just cocked it once to see if there was any bullets in there and uh, the one bullet that was in there flew out into the grass. I couldn't find it. It was like a comedy skit. Uh, and then that was the only bullet in the clip. So I'm like, okay, I'll keep an eye on it. You run up and get some bullets. Told, them where, told her where, they, where I keep them. So she ran. As she's handing them to me, he starts moving. So now I'm scrambling to get one in the clip and uh, and it gets up under the grass. I'm almost afraid to step down in there. I'll come over here. So yeah, uh, I guess I'm zoomed in, but uh, right right there where that yellow or green leaf is, uh, that's exactly where it went up under that grass. And it's kind of a ledge now. Um, you can kind of see over here how there's holes and little gullies up under, underneath. The flood really took a lot of the uh, soil away up underneath. And uh, so I had her grab me something I could prod in there and I poked in there all up along here and nothing came out. So. My guess is it's probably got its hole under there, and that's where it lives. So that's uh, not good. Not good at all. Let me unzoom here. Yeah, um, I have a hard time with the with the 22 anyway shooting anything up close because it's got the scope on it. I bought the gun specifically to kill the groundhogs and I always joke about how the fact that I saw them all the time before I bought the gun and I haven't seen one since but uh, it's almost like they know but anyway um, the scope it, it screws me up from hitting anything up close uh, so what I think I'm gonna do is I think instead of taking the scope off I'm going to go ahead and just buy a high-powered pellet gun just for snakes. Keep it in the cabin. So that's a new plan. Ugh, I can't believe it. It's like the, 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 the three stooges, but I'm just the only stooge. <laughs> I can't believe I missed that snake. Uh, it sat there forever, too. Okay, well, that's all I had to say. So, so hey, check this out. Got the car running because I'm getting ready to leave and <laughs> close the shop. I slide my door to my shed closed. 
and I grab the padlock, which is hanging from there. I don't know where it's at now because I screamed and threw it. Because right underneath, without my knowledge, the damn bee's nest. Man, I got stung on the finger, and I have been stung a hundred times in my lifetime. I have never felt pain like that before. That was the worst sting I have ever had. Whew. Oh, there's the lock there. All right, so let me get rid of this little bastard. And uh, I'll get this thing locked up. Hopefully I don't get stung again. Yikes.